Hello everyone, and good day to you. My name is Nightcrawler, and welcome to Night Games. I invite you to come along with me today as I play some World of Tanks. Today I'll be showing you one of the battles I recently played in my T-10 Russian Tier 9 heavy tank. In this battle, I will be highlighting the strengths of this versatile heavy tank while supporting my team with damage dealing as well as uh, some spotting. I appreciate you stopping by, and now let's jump in. So here we are, jumping into the battle. Uh, we are on the map Highway, and we are in a tier 9 and 8 combined um, matchup here. So we are the higher uh, tier in terms of the, uh, the, the enemies and teammates that we have here. Um, so we're going to head straight ahead towards the uh, city area. Uh, with this tank, it, uh, it's, it's quite an interesting tank to play. It is what I would call uh, a hybrid vehicle, so it kind of splits that line between being both a heavy and a medium. If you notice in the bottom left corner, we're actually going at 50, over 50 kilometers per hour right now, um, so it really can do, uh, can shift around and move around quite quickly, um, even in spite of its size. Um, the T-10 also has decent armor, uh, not amazing armor, but, but decent armor. It, it has a piked kind of frontal uh, plate, and so that allows it to uh, bounce some shots from lower tier or some same tier uh, opponents so it actually has some protection to go along with its speed so because it has that combination of both armor a little bit of armor and some mobility you can do some good um, flanking work with this tank you can kind of try and get behind people get behind heavier slower tanks uh, and attack their vulnerable uh, weaker side plates and stuff like that so we are making our way into the city here uh, we're going to hold this I guess northwestern corner of the city and just kind of keep watch for any enemies that want to move through uh, more of the exposed outer edge of the city. I'm just clearing some rubble here because I want to be able to have uh, a clear view if anybody if any enemies do travel along this road I want to be able to I want to be able to see them. So I noticed that there's a Proje Progetto 66 that is approaching us from uh, their kind of protected city area. So I'm just going to keep an eye out now for a while. I'm um, just looking for any tanks that are coming along the 9 line uh, and are going to be trying to uh, kind of move along the train tracks that are in front of us. So this tank, like I said, um, has some interesting statistics. It's a bit of a medium and a heavy. It has a 440 alpha damaged gun, which means that it can do some decent punches towards its enemies when it uh, gets in, in, in range of them. Speaking of the range, this tank actually has a spotting range of 400. So that's quite good for a heavy tank, um, and it allows it to spot for itself. And in World of Tanks, if you are spotting the enemies that you're shooting, as in um, if you're the one who first sees the enemy tanks you're shooting at, you get uh, bonus experience that comes from that. So this IS-3 makes an unwise decision to pull out in front of our uh, all of our team's gun line, and he gets... Uh, Pretty, hit pretty hard for it. I'm now looking at this Type 4 Heavy. Uh, I'm noticing nobody's coming to my left, so I'm, I'm watching this direction because it seems to be where all the enemies are coming from. So I put one into the Type 4 Heavy and then I duck back as quick as I can so I avoid his shot. And we're going to continue to play a bit of a harassing game here, trying to work on this T4, Type 4 Heavy. He gets tracked by our Borask uh, friend, and then I put one more into a, him again. Currently the enemy team is um, pushing forward a little bit too aggressively. Uh, the Type 4 Heavy managed to get away without it getting a third shot from me. Um, but we do manage to do some good damage to the enemy team as a whole. So we're now keeping an eye on this Progetto 66. Uh, I'm ideally wanting to, like I said, flank around this guy, try and get some side shots into him, as the Borask is also trying to do. So we're going to move forward here and see if there is an opportunity to do that. So I move ahead, and I don't zoom in here, I, I, I shoot from the third person view, and uh, that means that I don't hit the right area that I was aiming for, which was kind of his wheel well and tracks area. Um, so unfortunately that does no damage. I pull back here, and this type uh, T28 prototype puts a shot into the side of me, but I also return the favor. And he takes out my uh, driver, but I heal him and put him back in place so that we can move quickly. Um, really, this tank does need to be mobile at all times. It really can't afford to be tracked, so um, that's a very vital um, role for me. If my if that crew member gets injured, I, I, I heal him up as quickly as I can. So I'm seeing now if we can get any side shots into this Progetto, but he is backed up a little bit, and I'm not currently able to do so. And I don't want to move out in front of here, because then uh, the T-28 prototype and likely the G-Soar further down the line would be able to put some shots into me. So I'm just going to bide my time here for a little while now. I'm 
kind of I was kind of wondering if that Type 4 Heavy would back up into my view past the train tracks there. Um, and I'm also wondering if this Progetto is going to make a bit more of a push. So I notice he's backing up and he's stunned. So I'm going to try and see if I can put a shot into him. And I do. Again, I fire in third person mode, which is... Um, uh, I just have less of an idea exactly where it's going to go, but this time we're successful. So the Progetto starts to come towards us, but the Barask uh, comes in behind him and assassinates him. So we're now going to move forward. Um, we're going to move towards this T28 prototype, the G-Sor and the Scorpion that are up on this hill, and I'm hoping to do a little bit of damage towards them. This G-Sor, I'm looking for a shot into the cheek of his turret, but we uh, do not manage to do so. He also gets splashed by Artie, so he gets hurt, uh, and the G-Sor bounces off of me as I move forward. Again, I'm trying to get into the gun line of these tanks because I want to get up close to them so that they can't um, control the line of uh, fire there. So I noticed there's a sneaky Pershing that shows up in this bush here. I'm not quite sure what he was doing there, but unfortunately I spot him, and then I uh, subsequently hit him, and so do our teammates um, up on the hill. So I'm going to see if I can put one more into him. And unfortunately we don't, we critical hit him, but we don't track him and we don't damage him, but uh, he manages to get uh, killed by the WT uh, Panzer IV. So we're looking at the T-28 prototype and we're hoping that we can put him down and we do so. So we're now, things are looking really good, there's only four enemies left, we've gotten a total of over 3,000 damage and over 2,500 spotting damage. Um, so we're going to see if we can put one more into the Scorpion. I'm looking for a shot. But unfortunately, I hit the crossbeam of this bridge, and uh, so the shot does not go through. So now we have two artillery and a G-Sor left. So we're going to pull forward. We see the G-Sor, and we put one into him, but we back up. We don't want him to be able to unload the rest of his clip into us if he still has it. Uh, and we notice that M4043 is uh, trying to escape. So I'm going to do a bit of a shot here quite proud of that one. That was kind of a fun one going through the water tower and uh, taking him out while not being fully aimed in. Obviously some luck there, uh, but still managed to do that. And the um, our friendly M4043 manages to take out their FV3805. Um, so yeah, we end the, end the game here and uh, now we will jump over to the post-game stats. So here we are now looking at the post-game stats. Um, this was a battle that I fought on February 13th, so about a month ago. Uh, we managed to get a first class. Uh, obviously, there's a lot of good players with this tank, so they're having a lot of great games. So it was not an ace tanker, uh, but managed to get 8,000 experience with a bunch of bonuses and stuff like that. Our base experience was 1138. Um, and uh, we managed to get 3,500 damage as well as 2,500 spotting damage um, and made a, a bit of a profit, though we did have a premium account at the time. So yeah, it was a quick battle. It was six minutes, uh, but it was uh, quite an enjoyable one. And I think it showed just the flexibility of this tank. You can be uh, maneuverable, you can be out in the front of the battle, um, and you can do some good damage while you're uh, doing so. The only kind of downside of this tank is that there's really nothing. It, or the, the, the gun depression is very poor, and I didn't have to show that too much in this game because there weren't, weren't too many hills that I was negotiating. Uh, but only having five degrees of gun depression is definitely um, a difficult thing to work with. So I hope you enjoyed this highlight commentary, and I really appreciate you stopping by today. I'm a new streamer and content creator focusing on World of Tanks currently as well as a few other games that I enjoy playing. I'm still working out the kinks of streaming and video recording and I would appreciate any potential suggestions that you may have regarding changes that I could make that would improve your viewing experience. If you liked what you saw here today, I really would appreciate it if you could like and subscribe and I hope you have a great day.